Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and today we're doing another model railroad project for our model railroad club, the Charleston Area Model Railroad Club. And this is a variation of the digital scale speedometer that we did a couple weeks ago. We have the same infrared sensor in the track and today we're doing a crossing light. Now this is just the start of a much larger project which will also include servo operated crossing gates and a crossing bell that you will hear when the uh, sensor has been tripped by a train. But today we're just working on the crossing light function of it. And over here I have the code that makes this all work. And I will be posting this uh, at the link uh, in this video at arduinotronics.blogspot.com and I also have a little um, troubleshooting window here that when the sensor is blocked it gives me an indication that the sensor is active so let's go ahead and show how this works um, we've got a solderless breadboard here for prototyping which our sensor is connected to you can see the glow of the infrared LED we're using a um, Sane Smart Arduino Mega Clone, just because we had one handy. And we're using a LED um, crossing indicator. It has two red LEDs in it. The uh, negative uh, pins on the LEDs are connected together, and it's got a common positive. So we're running the common positive over here to a 300 ohm resistor and the sensor is connected to two resistors one is a 68 ohm resistor on the infrared LED itself and the other is a 100k uh, actually I think it's an 82k yep, uh, resistor which is biasing the um, uh, phototransistor pulling it to 5 volts so that when we cover the sensor it gives us a active low where it's normally pulled high to 5 volts and that's how we're sensing here in the code if sensor 1 is low then start flashing the lights so it's normally high and you can see that from the ones that are being displayed here in the uh, troubleshooting screen which is our serial monitor so let's go ahead and pretend that a train has come across and it blocks the sensor and there goes our flashing lights. And when the train has continued on, the flashing lights will stop. We can do that again. Sensors covered and the flashing lights start. Train moves away and the flashing lights stop. Now when we get this deployed on the layout there will be two sensors one on either side of a crossing and there will be two um, LED display crossing guards there will also be two gates but we will address that in a future article um, so that no matter which direction the trains are coming from you put these sensors far enough from the uh, crossing itself to give the gates time to come down, the lights time to light, and to let the scale automobiles and drivers who might be driving on the layout at that time, uh, time to stop and let them know that a train is coming. So I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, more is coming. We will be working on the servo operated crossing gates. We will work, be working on the bell which will play actual recordings of a crossing bell so it'll sound very realistic and of course this is uh, all going on with the other projects we're working on like the Arduino controlled turnouts which we talked about in the previous post there's the board that we've started working on and that will have a um, manual push button controls as well as uh, a DCC decoder that we've built using an Arduino that allows it to be controlled by a digital command control system. So we want to thank you for your time in watching this and we hope you've enjoyed it and more is coming so please stay tuned. Thank you very much.